As you know, if you haven't been before, my name's Dennis Coote. I'm the host with this, with, with this, <laughs> with my partner at the back there, Hazel Reid, and we run this organisation. <laughs> really enjoyed this evening. I know you'll enjoy Nick Ted and Vanessa's uh, um, presentation, which we'll start right now. Okay, thank you very much indeed, everyone. We're on. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. That's the, uh, the official good evening and welcome. Um, Right, so tonight what we're going to talk about has got nothing to do with property. What a relief, eh? You've had enough of that already, I'm sure, for the last two hours. So what we're going to talk about tonight is, is this thing called social media. But before we get on to that one, let's do some quick introductions. Uh, that's me, uh, Nick Tad. Apparently I'm an uber geek, whatever the hell that, that one of those is. Um, but I'm an uber geek. And just to give you a quick understanding of, of, of who we are and what we are, that's my wife here, Vanessa, Vanessa Warwick. <clears throat> um... I used to work in the music industry, so that, that explains the haircut. <clears throat> Can we get that bit out of the way up front? That explains the haircut. And uh, I used to work in the music industry. I was a TV cameraman. My wife here, Vanessa, was a VJ on MTV. And we used to do music videos, live concert shoots, that type of thing. DVDs, all that type of stuff. Um, about six years ago, we got involved in buying property ourselves. We have about 22 houses now. Uh, dotted around all over the place. We do. We have various, many different ways that we, different avenues that we use to to rent them out. Either holiday lets here in the UK. We've got some in Cyprus as well. We've got single occupancy flats, about 14 of them in London. We've got mainly houses in the southeast as well. So we've built up very much a, a property portfolio of various different ways of, of income, which I'm sure is keen to close to everyone's heart in this room here tonight. But interestingly enough, <coughs> what we've discovered over the last sort of five or six years that we've been doing this one, is that it's actually paid for me to do something else which is very much close to my heart as well. Because obviously Vanessa here is a big, big, the forum queen, I would argue, realistically, being all the singing pigs and, and our one property tribes as well. Um, Vanessa's passion in life was to buy houses. Can I be honest with you? It really bores the hell out of me buying houses. Is it, is it me? Really boring, isn't it? Really dull. I like the money, that's good. But the actual buying of the houses really doesn't float my boat, pardon the expression. But um, one thing that does um, excite me a little bit as, as such is that, come on in, more room at the back. No, clearly not. Um, one thing that does interest me though is it's, it's brought a lot of time for me to, to involve myself in this thing called the web, which has kind of evolved over the last few years. And being a self-confessed geek that I am, hands up anyone else in here is a geek as well. Yeah, geeks are the new rock stars, isn't that right, Kev? <laughs> um, yeah, geeks are the new rock stars now. So, it, it, you know, I'm very much a geek, and it really has indulged me in my passion in this thing called the web. And what's fascinating more about the, the web than anything else is the way that it's evolved and the way that it's having such a tremendous effect on society. Um, and of course, being involved in property as well has bought me a lot of time to be able to indulge in that passion uh, of playing around with the web. Now, just out of curiosity, does anyone in here actually know how old the web is? Anyone? Don't all shout at once. 20 years, 23 years, 25 years, 10, 30, 6, 6, who said 6? <laughs> Hold on to that thought. <laughs> I would actually argue the web is about 5,000 days old. It's just a little bit over, about 15 odd years old, I would say. The internet is about 40 odd years old, but the web isn't. And it's very much two different things we're talking about here. The internet is old, but the web isn't. www was coined in 89, and the first browser came out in 94. So we could argue that it's 10 or 15 or 20 years old, couldn't we, at that point? Does anyone in this room know how old Google is? Or am I the only sad kid in the room? <laughs> 11? Who's 11? Yeah, it's about, it's about well, 10 years old, split hairs with you. It's 10 years old. But yeah, if I said to you right now, should we go and Google it? You'd know exactly what I mean, wouldn't you? Everyone in this room would know exactly what I mean. But Google's only 10 years old. The web is only 15 years old. So we have this thing 
this kind of organism that's, that sort of happened over the last 15 years, it's basically caused with the trousers down to a certain degree, part of the expression there. <laughs> You'll get a few of them tonight, eh? Hey?